Welcome to this sexy songwriting and hot tea talk. Today I will be sharing a step-by-step -step process for writing a song, start to finish, completely finish the song, and without starting at verse one, which is what most people do. So this is the step-by-step -step process I've learned from writing songs for over 10 years, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply them to your songwriting. So before you click away, let's hop into it. Step number one. Now this is the most crucial step of writing your song and nobody does this, or at least they don't do it well. Pick your concept. What is the concept? Well, when somebody reads your song and listens to your song, it's very important that they can tell you what your song is about. So when you're picking your concept, it needs to be what your song is about. Something clear, simple, easy to understand. It could be something like found the love of your life. Something like lost the love of your life. Something, anything. But you have to pick it in the beginning of your songwriting process. So therefore, as we go through the following steps, you're writing a song, you're writing a song about something. My song is going to be about appreciating what you have. That's going to be my concept. Because that's what I'm going through in life. A concept can be as simple as what you're going through in life. Step number two, work on your chorus. First thing I'm going to do is pick my chords. You can do this with whatever instrument you write with or whatever you're comfortable with. You don't even have to use an instrument. This is just to help me find my melody. I want this to be my chorus. And if you're wondering how on earth did she just come up with those chords straight out of my head? Well, you can click on the video somewhere on the screen where I go over briefly how you can use numbers to choose your chords for your song and how much it makes songwriting so much easier so you no longer have to struggle with chords. Next step. So when you're a songwriter, it's crucial that you always have lyrics on hand. I have all of these lyrics and I'm going to use them for my chorus. Basically, I'm going to pick whichever lyrics match my concept. And this makes songwriting so easy because I'm never staring at a blank piece of paper confused and scared. So before I come up with lyrics, I'm going to focus on my melody just so I can figure out how I'm going to phrase my lyrics. Da -da -dun -dun. So that's my melody. Now I can choose which lyrics match that melody. Yeah, we all make mistakes. And that's okay. Your mistakes. Yeah, we all make. So that sounds like a cool chorus to me. Yeah, we all make mistakes. And that's okay. All of your mistakes make you who you are. And I could even have a chorus B part. And now I'm. But for interest's sake, I'm going to keep this a very simple chorus for the sake of the video. So I have my chorus. Yeah, we all make mistakes. Okay, you understand the gist. The, the gist. So after you have your chorus, this is very important. What is your hook? I almost forgot this step because I usually do. Now, a hook is either your song title, it's kind of like a conclusion to what the chorus is about. I just try to keep it something simple with a nice melody. So 
if the concept is where did my concept go if the concept is i'm grateful for what i have and the chorus is yeah we all make mistakes and that's okay all of your mistakes make you who you are the concept is i'm grateful for what i have Now, how do you say that and not be corny? This is another thing with songwriting. How do you say what you want to say without sounding, like, stupid? Yeah, we all make mistakes, and that's okay. All of your mistakes make you who you are. Okay, so I had to take a minute to process my chorus. It took me, like, ten or so minutes. So, I have this as the chorus this is the, gonna be the chorus and the hook is and that's okay yeah we all make mistakes and that's okay all of your mistakes make you who you are screw ups losing can't get through them the lessons get you far Mistakes, they change us, really shake us, and that's okay. And I made the chorus sound nice at the end because it ends on the fifth and then back to the one. Back to the one. So, mistakes, they change us, really shake us, stay on that five, and that's okay. So, that's the chorus. Now, the next thing I'm going to be doing is writing the verses. So this chorus is quite wordy. It says a lot. So I want the verses to be nice and simple. Um, so for the verses, I'm gonna keep the chords simple also. I might just go like. So yeah, that'll be the verse. So, I'm going to look at my lyrics, and I'm going to remember my concept, which is grateful for what I have. So far, the chorus is basically like, you know, mistakes are okay, it's all going to be okay. Now, my concept can sort of change, but I'm still, like, keeping a concept in mind, which is really important. This way, I don't write a verse that's about something completely different, and then, yeah, then it's just confusing. So for my verse, it's going to be, the chords are going to be one and then six. And I'm going to focus on my melody first. Concept. I don't want to be a treasure. a problem because my verse is saying i'm grateful for what i have i need to realize i have a lot in life but my chorus is saying we all make mistakes and so these two concepts i can't find a way to make them go together so i'm trying to figure out how i can keep my concept clear so i got the verse and the chorus i just scrapped the old chorus but i like the melody so now what I have is I don't want to be a treasure That no one finds Wanting everything Without seeing my own shine I'm jumping in Cause I don't really get much time 
Yeah, I'm saying yes It's a new shit A waste of no time I'm saying yes To happiness Living my best life I'm living my best life Sounds pretty cool. It's a good rough draft. So now I'm on to verse two, and I always feel like verse twos don't really matter, except that they're just supposed to say something cool that like makes the listener say, wow, that's a great line. I just watched a video called 10 Pieces of Advice from Elderly People, and I want to put some of that into the song. Okay, so I just wrote the verse based on some advice the old people gave me. So it's, this is verse two. Happiness, happiness isn't something that comes Happiness isn't something that comes When everything's going right You have to make a conscious choice To see the light I'm jumping in Cause worrying is wasted time Yeah, I'm saying yes it's a new shit, wasting no more time. I'm saying yes, it's a happiness. I'm living my best, I'm living my best life. So this is a nice, you know, verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus. So I'm gonna play the whole song to myself. And then I'm going to see if there's anything else that's needed. Once you have your chorus and your verse, this is usually when I stop. And I, first I'll get a um, rough recording of all this, all these ideas. And I'll stop. And then I'll check back in two or three days after I've given myself a minute to have a clear head. And to get some new juices into my brain. So, um, one thing that I feel like, you're probably surprised, like, why is she stopping now? I thought she was going to finish the song. But one thing that songwriters do is they'll get to this point where I'm at now, and then they'll just keep working on it for, for you know, consecutively. They'll just keep working on it. And what happens is you just get so lost in the song that you lose perspective and you don't know what sounds good anymore. Then you get frustrated. Then you don't trust yourself anymore because you think everything you write sounds like poop. And then you're just, you're gone. You, there's no turning back and your song is gone because you've overworked it and you've worked on it so much that you've just crushed it. So I'm gonna leave it like it is. It's really cool. It feels really light, really fun. And then, yeah, I'll give it a few days. And if I wanna keep working on it, I'll have a new perspective. And then really the only thing you do is you make some final adjustments and that's about it. It's pretty easy. It all goes back to the concept, back to step one. If you read your song out loud, is your concept clear? If your concept's clear and it sounds cool, then you got a good song. If you've made it this far in the video, you're obviously interested in songwriting. Um, you can see in this video, I'm pretty skilled in writing melodies just straight out of my head. So you can click the link below, check out all my 12 methods for writing mel all my 12 methods for writing melodies. It's called 12 Methods to Melody Mastery. Yeah. You can click the link below to check it out. Super simple stuff. It's great information and great concepts for for showing you how to write a melody. So yeah, check it out if you'd like. And I'm we'll see you next time. Happy writing.